Righty ho, we're on to, finally, it's rear brake shoe day. Um, my only concern for today's project really are the beehive springs because I haven't made the tool that everyone recommends you make for fitting that. The handbrake, not really sure how the handbrake works. Currently it doesn't work at all. It's super taut and all that, but it does nothing. But I've almost come to the, uh, to the conclusion that I might not need a handbrake. <laughs> Motorbikes don't have handbrakes. That's all I'm saying. You don't need one. I've got a new system for getting it out of the garage now. Which is just basically just chucking it against curbs. Let's crack on. It's a nice day. Thanks, everyone. Okay, let's do a little bit of unboxing. The new rear shoes are here. This is a, oh my God, quality assurance. So we've gone for the Borg and Beck, which you know what? There weren't much choice at the moment for uh, brake shoes. I don't know if that's normal, but um, both of the local places that specialize in um, Morris's and Classics had nothing uh, in the way of rear. Uh, front seemed to be easy enough to get a hold of, but these not so much. So bit of an issue there. Don't know if you've noticed, but there's a little talking point. Here we go. New shoes, let's pop them open. Oof. Oof. I mean, I don't think there's anything interesting to see, uh, but the difference from the front ones, if you go back in the videos in the uh, channel, you'll see me doing the front brake. So they had two cylinders each in the front. So you had these notches on both sides, uh, but uh, in the rear, there's only one cylinder. So you're only going to get one of those and the other side is just the straight pivot. So I'd say it was the corner to corner lines again. And uh, I'd say that's how it's going to be. Or maybe the other way around, depending where the... Uh... No, I'm going to say it's that then, because the logos are there. So there you go. That's what I reckon the setup is. A couple of springs again, like last time. So we'll see how we get on. But uh, there you go, Borg and Beck, everybody. Right, she's still here. All good, all good. We have to turn her around so we can jack the back up again and crack on with these bloody rear brakes. So let's go. <laughs> We're back, the wheels are off. Just gonna knock the drums off now. Should come off easily. I don't know if I'm being crazy now, but the car's in gear and the back wheels turn when it's jacked up, but when it's on the ground, it's in gear and doesn't roll. It doesn't, it's rear wheel drive. I'm very confused. There you go. Answers in the comments, please. Um, crack today, drums are off. Just got your two Phillips screws to take out to remove that. If it's tight, slapping off the brake pads. Uh, if it's still tight, give it a whack with hammer and it should wobble off all right. So if you've seen this all before, go back in the channel and it's the same process. The front brake, essentially. But now let's go through the differences with right, the rear. As you can see, there's one of them beehive springs. So I don't know if that's fitted correctly. There's another one. The slightly different designs in different places. These seem much longer than the ones I've seen um, other people using. So maybe they change tactic eventually. But yeah, I'd say the shoes aren't even that bad, but we're gonna change them off anyway because they've been dragging for a long time. So they won't be in the best condition. So we're gonna do that. Um, so off with it. I mean, yeah, it's just the same process. We're gonna be knocking off these springs, peeling that one out somehow with some pliers. We'll see how we get on there swap out the shoes throw the new ones on bash the springs back on see how far we get tidy it up push it back together and then on to the brake fluid i'm a bit annoyed that i missed all that on camera to be honest because it all happened so quick but these pushed out really easy so i don't know if they were incorrectly to begin with or this longer design gives you more purchase to put to put that hook in which might be a cool thing because it's quite easy to press in and 
get somewhere. I just don't really know what I'm aiming for at this point until I see behind. But, uh, I mean, yeah, there's the little bracket you want to be hooking onto. So, is it as simple as that? Oh, didn't mean to take a photo. I reckon we'll be all right. We'll figure that out. So there you go. Two of those are out. It's going to be the same on the top and the bottom. This is steaming ahead. So I'm just going to flick out these and then we're away. It's all happening way too fast again. But as you can see, I'm just about to flick this spring's nibbing over the edge and that's going to release this side. There you go. And uh, I reckon that'll do it. It's the same. So on the left hand side, the spring hooks are facing you on the right hand side you can see they're facing in. So there you go. I reckon this is all free. Um, take a seat. Okay, one spring, two spring. So that's the assembly. Bash that back together like that, like that. These are from behind. And yeah. I will show you. Are you ready? Are you ready? That obviously goes there. And these went in there. So there you go. Here's the assembly. Just like that is how it was. So these springs facing you. That these springs actually facing away from you like that. And then the two beehives. And there's the adjuster, which is the wrong way around, isn't it? There you go. So that's what we're aiming for with the new set. So we'll go and grab the new pads and do a comparison. Spray this down and clean it so up. So comparisons is how it came off the car. So if we can go on patterns, we've got that line going that way, that line going that way. So that's how this seems to look. It's a bit weird because the, the logos are printed on the other side. So I don't know if that's just a general cock up or if it even matters. Or if it can't be set up wrong because it's the way the cylinder goes so hey ho um, i'm happy with that so yeah we're aiming for that same pattern that way that way that way that way two holes two holes two holes two holes beehive and one for this side screw and that's it so obviously as parts go it's going to look extremely similar just like that oh dear You get the idea. Consider those eggs sucked. All right. So that's going to be the new setup. Easier said than done, I imagine, like always. Obviously, that's where the beehives are going to go, which doesn't seem like the worst job in the world now, which is cool. So let's just have a look at them. I'll clean it up, actually. I'm going to clean this and show you what it looks more like. For my reference, but this is driver's side. It's facing away from me on the left and towards me on the right. So on the cylinder side, it faces towards me. These beehive screws are the nightmare addition. So hopefully they'll come off when I loosen everything else off. There you go. They don't seem to do a fat lot anyway, to be honest. So there we were right then. I'm gonna just unhook all this, throw it off, and then let's throw them all back there. on. So if we look down this, we can see the end of the uh, spring hook is right down there. So hopefully we can push that in and it'll come out. Yeah, man. Both sides are now shoeless and ready to be reshoed. Um, not looking forward to it. Fiddly, fiddly shit, really. Now, while we're here, we can have a look at the uh, the handbrake problem. As we can see all the things, and there is a little arm actuator thing behind the cylinder, which looks like it's either jammed on, jammed off. Does it move? I don't know. Literally about to test it. So for right now, this is what it looks like. It's just behind all these gubbins. And you can see, one second, this here runs down that cable, which is one side of those cables we saw at the back end of the handbrake in the other episode. So that's all that's happening. You can see the other end of the cable just here attached to this. This is now pulled that way. The handbrake is applied. So that will be doing something inside the cylinder to apply the brakes. I imagine maybe that's what should be happening. Maybe like fuel uh, uh, fluid levels are really low around the car, which is the next step after these shoes are back on. So maybe that'll fix everything. But then there's your little bleeder knob valve thing. All right, same on the other side. So you've got those two cables running to the handbrake. 
So just to finish the, uh, the explanation off for you, there's the other one. Right, it goes the exact same thing, is it from this side? Just this, and that's now applied. So I'm gonna unapply it and see if anything moves or changes. Now these handbrakes don't run to the front. So just remember that it is rear wheel drive and it doesn't have, and the handbrake just goes to the back. So chock your damn wheels if you're working on the back. Right, that's unapplied now. Has anything moved? I'd say so. I'd say so. It's got a rubber boot there, which protects everything. So we might swap all of this out. Doesn't seem like the tightest assembly anyway. Whatever's going on there. I'm not sure that's supposed to shift around. But there you go. So yeah, the handbrake does something. So maybe it's just a big old lack of fluid and we're not getting enough breakage at all. So, um, sweet, we know that action works. Let's move on, put the shoes on. Right, don't really know what I'm doing, so just follow. Let me just watch and see what happens. We're good. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Oh my God, probably not, I don't know if you'll look it up. Well, that's on, for now. I ordered some new beehives screws because we've got two different kinds on both sides these seem fine we can get them in and out uh, but it's going to be easy access to do these at a later date anyway so i just kind of want to get the fluid done today whilst i've got the uh the daylight but these long staffed kind of design versions seem like the best way to fill now really get away with this side as easy again i'm doubting it because that was a complete winger but we'll see how we go. Bit of a balancing act, this. There we go. It's uncouth, but it's working. So that's all that side done. Let's get the back now. Yeah, I really wish I'd film that one, but um, the best way to get this hooked over the top was to hook on the bottom first. Get this, get a small flathead, like a flexi boy, get that under the hook, put it in the hole it's going for, then just lift up and it hooked in. Really nice, so sweet. Again, gonna put the beehives on later because I wanna get the fluids done today. So no time to waste, let's bang the drum. Very greasy camera now, but hack it. Um, we finally made it to brake fluid time. So we're gonna get the easy bleed kit out. Right then. So, easy bleed kit is basically, it's gonna, there will be a cap that fits that with it. So we fit that on, uh, first of all, make sure that's correct. And then the air pressure itself will come from our spare wheel here, which just needs to be at 20 PSI. Let's just show you. Right, so here we go. The easy bleed kit comes with that for bleeding out of your bleed and nipple valves on your, uh, your drums or whatever, your calipers, if you're in another car, you get this bottle, which is what fills with your new brake fluid. This is the lid we're going to have to change in a moment. I am, oh no, this lid may fit the car already, it looks about right, but it may not. But it does come with extra lids to fit most cars, I imagine. So you get, you get all these lids and gaskets and whatever, which is really useful. You get extra pipes, you get a spare one, for, for one that's going there, you get the long, the long one that just goes to your tire. You get this cap, which just that's the one that goes onto your brake reservoir. And then it comes with a little hook to hang on the bonnet, which I'll show you the setup. But that is literally all there is to it. So um, let's do it. Got up to balancing today. Maybe there. That'd be for a minute. So we want to get rid of the cap. Let's see what size this is. That's big. It doesn't come with one for that. Seriously. It doesn't come with that size. Seriously. <laughs> I 